Greetings friends, David Marks here with some happy news to share for you as we begin 2020. Late last year, Adobe slipped a little Christmas present into their latest Lightroom for iOS update. With the latest update, we can now import images from a digital camera's memory card directly into Adobe Lightroom for mobile on iOS devices. This might not sound like a big deal, but this is something that photographers like me have been requesting for years. Let's jump right over to my iPad and let me show you why this is such a big workflow improvement. Two quick notes before I show you how easy it is now to use direct import in Adobe Lightroom for iPad or iPhone. First, to use this new feature, your device must be running iOS version 13.2 or later. Likewise, you will also need the latest version of the Lightroom app on your device. Second, you're going to need an adapter to connect your memory card to your phone or iPad since there are no ports for external media built directly into these Apple devices. You can't see it on the screen, but I already have a memory card adapter plugged into my iPad's charging port. And since my memory card adapter is already plugged in, I can tap on the Lightroom for iPad icon to open up this awesome app. Next, I'm gonna pop a memory card for my digital camera into the card reader. As soon as I do this, a new message like this one will appear to tell us that Lightroom is aware of the memory card and the card reader. I'll tap continue, and immediately the new direct import window will appear. In here, I can see all of the images on this memory card. If needed, I can tap on this options button here, this three little dots button in the upper right to change the size of my thumbnail or to hide a certain type of files. I find this option useful when I want to bring in only raw files versus JPEGs, for example, or when I want to ignore videos that I also shot on this memory card. The other option here is to change the size of our thumbnails. You can also change the thumbnail size, by the way, out here in the main window using a two finger pinch or push move, if that's helpful. Next, you can select which images you want to import either by tapping on them one by one or by tapping here to import everything from a particular day. You can also tap here if you have multiple days to import everything on this memory card. In this case, I only have images from one day of shooting, so either of these options produces the same result. The important part though is learning that you do not need to tap on each image one by one, especially if you have hundreds of new photos on your card, just to copy them all in at once. Now, you could tap on the import button at the bottom at this point, but I strongly suggest that you take one additional step first. If you've watched any of my other tutorials on organizing your images using Lightroom Mobile, then you know that I'm a big fan of this little button right here. I think that using the Add to Album feature is one of the best ways to keep your image library from becoming a completely jumbled mess. If I wanted to, I could tap here and add these images into a new album. I could type something short and descriptive here about these photos, and that's what I usually do for each memory card. But what if, what if what I want to do is to add these into an album that already exists within my Lightroom catalog? In this case, in those instances where you want to add all of your new images to an album that already exists, then what you need to do is to back out of here for a second. To do this, we need to back all the way out of the direct import dialog. Next, I'm going to go into the album that I want to use. In this case, I'll pick my Glacier National Park album since that's where these new photos were shot. Now that I'm inside the right album, I can tap here on the Add New Photos icon, and then I can select from camera device to open up the direct import window again. It's really subtle, but you see how the add to line has changed. Now, Lightroom knows that this is the album that I want to use for these images. So I can tap here again to select all of these photos, and then I can tap on the import button at the bottom of the screen to get things copying. At this point, Lightroom will begin copying these files from my memory card over to my iPad. Once everything is copied, and once I'm online again, then Lightroom for iOS will begin to upload a full resolution copy of these photos to my Creative Cloud account on Adobe servers. When this dialog box pops up, I urge you not to delete anything from your memory card. Personally, I would hold off deleting anything from my memory card until I'm absolutely sure that everything has been successfully copied first to the iPad and then uploaded to my Creative Cloud account. Call me overcautious, but if you allow Lightroom to delete from your memory card right now, and if there's some disaster with your mobile device, then what's your plan B? Anyway, the important part here though, is that it was super fast and easy to get these photos from the card to Lightroom. One minor warning though, before I end this video. 
In the past, we always had to copy from our memory card to our device's camera roll and then into Lightroom. As many of you know, that process was cumbersome, and it meant that there were at least two copies of every photo on your device in separate app. By two copies, I mean that there was one image inside of Lightroom for iOS, and at least for a little while, there was a separate copy over here in the Apple Photos app. Now, I don't think that anyone is going to miss the old way, but I do want to warn you that direct import means that you will not find any of your new files, nothing that you copy directly from the card to Lightroom inside of the Apple Photos app. This is a good thing, but I do want to make it clear that if you ultimately want to use one of your new images inside of the Apple Photos app, then you're going to have to export a copy from Lightroom to the camera roll on your mobile device. Now, there are a whole bunch of new features for us iOS users too when it comes to saving files from Lightroom to another app, but those are the subject for another tutorial. Well, there you go. Thanks to direct import, copying images from a memory card to Lightroom for iOS is finally a piece of cake. I hope that you found this video helpful. If so, then please hit the subscribe button and leave us a like or a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in our next tutorial.